Data is strange. It's almost supernatural in the way it forms and comes to life. Hopping through the network to find the right hive of bytes and bits before teleporting back to us. A still emerging technology in the context of the short history of online play. Behind every click, pull, tap and swivel online, there's an otherworldly force at work that brings what your mind wants to happen in-game to life online. But it's only by looking through the parallel world of game servers that we can understand our game data these ghosts in the machine that determine our online gaming experience. A game server, also known as a host, continuously provides your gaming device with data. This is how we experience the real-time changes in-game. Think of it like a spectral data butler, unseen but always there, serving up visuals, sounds, other player actions and your own. The connection between host and client is known as the network model. This connection controls the very particular arrangement of people's devices online, determining how we players enter the game and get organised so that we can see and interact in real time. Game servers are what allows you to actually play your game. So if you're playing any kind of online game whatsoever, there is going to be some kind of game server attached to that. Most MMOs or larger international games will have specific servers that will service an entire region. So whether or not that be an Oceania server, or a European server, an American server, or an Asian server, that's where your information needs to ping through in order for you to be able to have that, that MMO experience. In order for you to be able to access that server, you of course, that data's got to leave your computer, it's got to go into whatever your local network actually is, it's then got to travel through an international network, re-enter a local network on the other side of that server, and then ping off that server. And then all of your data travels all the way back again for you to be able to have that interactive international experience. There's more than one type of game server, and it pays to know the difference if you want to know how your online experience is decided. Dedicated servers power some of the largest massive multiplayer online games, battle royales, and first-person shooter games in the world. A dedicated host simply sends instructions to your device, determining graphic output, sound, and game controls. One of the most common network models, peer-to-peer, -peer, has all clients directly communicating with each other. Each client receives the raw data from the other and processes it in tandem. Sometimes mislabeled as peer-to-peer, -peer, listen servers use your gaming device to host the game, making you the server host, the authority for the game state, and the client at the same time. Whenever you connect to the internet, whether it be through some sort of gaming VoIP platform or whether it be a live stream, you are connecting to some kind of server. The good news for those kinds of things is that we often do have them here in Australia. So you can very easily check what server it is that you're connected to. If you have a look at your particular settings, you should be able to see the location of exactly where your data is going. Try and choose the one that's closest to you. That will usually give you the best experience. One stored data byte is estimated to have a physical weight of around one atogram. This leaves data unbound, so that information can travel at very fast speeds between the client, that's you, and the server in a form known as packets. These blocks contain game information, like the IP addresses for where the packet came from and where it's going, how it relates and connects with other data packets, and how long the packet can live for, demonstrating that data does in fact experience its own form of life and death. A modern miracle unto themselves, game servers are the driving force of one of Earth's biggest obsessions. Now we enter the age of cloud gaming, and with it, the potential to render hardware memory obsolete. Soon, we'll see the next generation of game servers arrive in service of a new era of online play, founded on a vision of lossless connection and gameplay perfection. And with that comes exponentially more data, briefly alive and then not 
all in service of us, the players. <laughs>